I'm sorry I got too long-winded and ran over my 15 minutes. But this slide shows that the younger you are, um, you don't have as great of a chance of getting breast cancer. And the older you get, the greater the chance. So, because we're at risk for breast cancer, it's really important for women to do a breast self-exam once a month. And your textbook says to do this self-exam the 12 to 16 days after the first day of your last period. Basically, that means to do your breast self-exam the week after your period. There's less hormonally that happens during that week, and so your breast tissue is easier to feel if there were to be a lump. Then once a year, when you go in for your annual pelvic exam, your doctor will do an, a breast exam as well. So to do your breast self-exam, it's a two-fold process. First, do a visual exam. Stand in front of the mirror. With your hands down, look at your breasts. With your hands up, look at your breasts. And they may or may not be the same size, but get used to what they look like normally. There also is a form of breast cancer that is a rash, so please look at any discoloration of the skin. Also, look at the nipples to make sure there isn't anything unusual with them. Then second is the manual examination. You can do this in the shower or you can do it lying down. What you do is take one arm, put it behind your hand behind your head, and that stretches out all the breast tissue so it's easier for you to feel. Then with the other hand, feel all around the breast. And in this picture it shows just going around, and it doesn't show that you need to feel around the nipple. No, you need to feel around the nipple as well. So another way might be to go up and down, covering the whole breast. And don't lift your hand. Just slide your fingers through the breast. If you lift your hand, you may miss a part. So just go either around covering the whole breast or up and down covering the whole breast. And also feel your armpit. Is there lymph nodes that could become cancerous as well? So breast self-exam is twofold. First, the visual exam then the manual exam. Then, once you get to be about 40, your doctor will help you with when you need to do this, depending on the history of breast cancer in your family. You will have a specialized x-ray called a mammogram that's used to detect small lumps. In a minute, I'll show you a picture of what that machine is like. But again, remember, early detection is the key. And if you have to have one of your breast removed, that's called a mastectomy. Two breast removed is a double mastectomy. A lumpectomy is where they will only have to go in and remove a lump or some surrounding tissue, which is less invasive. And remember, most lumps are cysts or benign tuber tumors called fibroadenomas, which basically are non-cancerous. And this machine is the um, machine that a mammographer will use. The nurse to the right is the woman that is the mammographer. Uh, the woman in the pink is the one getting her breast um, x-rayed through, through mammogram. Um, they will put the breast on a plate and then another plate comes down on top of it, basically putting pressure on the breast, squeezing it to spread out any tissue so that an x-ray can, can be made. And it's important for women to learn to relax during this. And your mammographer will tell you to relax and to hold your breath. But the important key is to relax. And this ends our, our voiceover on the female breasts.